Hey guys, it's me, Amanda, and I'm here today with another haul. I just did one another the other day, so I'm doing one again today, so hope you all enjoy it. Okay, um, this one right here was from Walmart. This was Hard Candy, and this one was Lunar Eclipse 277. Now, this reminds me of the Lorac, or Lorac, everybody pronounces it different, um, 20-something carrot, black carrot. Now, this is very similar to black carrot. I had black carrot once. I gave it away because, um... I had a friend that really wanted it, not that I didn't like it. So I was like, going through Walmart the other day and I seen this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot like it. But it's a little bit more on the greener. I don't have, it's a little bit different, but not that much. For the price range, it's not, you know, that much of a difference. So yeah. Another thing I picked up was the Renewing Morocco, um, Rock, Morocco, Moroccan Aragon Oil. And it is a balm treatment. It's an intense moisturizing treatment. It's a unique, precious blend of Moroccan Aragon Oil, which intensely, instantly penetrates the hair. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not going to sit and read all that. But it's just like a, a hair mask, and I and I've, I love the lotion. I got all the lotion, uh, the body wash, everything from this exact, um, it looks exactly the same. And the shampoo and conditioner, and I just wanted to try, bomb. this is what it looks like. And the smell is absolutely to die for. I'm not even going to lie, the smell is so awesome. So yeah, I always use the L'Oreal um, hair mask, so I'm hoping this is a good one. Okay. And now today, this is all from Ulta and Target, and it's not a big haul, it's just a little haul, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way. Uh, from Ulta, I picked up the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser, which I use religiously. I love this. I also use it with my other um, Neutrogena blemishing stuff for us older ladies. And this is the oil-free eye makeup remover. I also use the toner, which looks exactly like this, but it's the toner. And it's a really good mix, and I, my skin has not broke out since I've been using it, and it's been great. So, I purchased these today at Ulta. I love Ulta. I picked this up at Ulta. I've picked this up before, and I still have some of this left, but I did not want to run out, and I didn't want to pay 30 for the bigger one. I know it sounds crazy. So, usually every time I go on Ulta... I grabbed this one. And why not just grab the $30 one at once, you say? But it just seems to me that it's saving money. It really isn't, but in my mind it is. So every time I go to Ulta, I usually just grab this little pack for $12. And this is what the inside looks like. It's super, super cute. It's got the little confetti and it's got the little bottles. And the bottles are about this big. And you can use them. I can use it up to 10 um, more than 10 times for an all-over face. So they're worth it to me. I think they are. Okay, another thing I picked up at Ulta was from NYX, and I have so much stuff that it's really hard for me to decide on something that I don't have. But I don't have this one from NYX, and it's the Eleven Florence palette, and it's got a um, little bow. Look how cute the little bow on the front. I thought that was adorable. Okay, the coloring is like this. You've got a matte brown. you got like a coral. It's got a lot of gl like glitter in it, like a corally with gold glitter. And then you have like a light um, brown, kind of looks like, is it... Not Kid by Mac. Um, I don't know. But it's like a very light brown with glitter. I can swatch it for you. Let's see if you can see. That's what that one looks like. Here's the coral one. And this one's a matte brown. And it's like a really pretty green and like a dark brown, which you can use. Let me see. The green looks like that. They're very pigmented. And the brown one at the bottom is just a really dark brown with a little bit of the gold glitter. So they all have kind of the gold glitter in them. Um, it comes with these little brushes that you've seen fall out, but I never use. I always just throw them away anyway. And, yeah, I'm getting that everywhere. Huh. But anyway, that's what I picked up. Talking to myself while I'm on camera. That's just great. Okay, um, another thing I picked up. Let me just grab my little bag and bring it over here. Okay, now this is like I'm really excited about these. I also picked these, uh, this up from... Um, yeah, I thought I had another one. I thought I had more than that, but I guess I didn't. I picked this up from Essence, and this is the Extra, Extra, sh Extra, Extra, Extra Shine Essence Gel Look. And it's supposed to make your, it's like a top coat. It's supposed to make your um, nails look like gel nails. I don't know if it's going to, but I hope it does. I hope it really does, because I love gel nails, so I'm hoping that works. And then I picked up these two uh, from Pop Color. Look at these, how beautiful. They're so vibrant. They're so gorgeous. This one is so 
pretty. And I think I seen who was I had on? Was it Gregory Gorgeous or something that had this? Um, I think it was. I don't know. I can't find the name of it. I don't name it, but if you go where the ult is, where the pop stuff is, you can't miss them, of course. They got purple, pink, this pretty green, and then I got this pretty pink. Look how vibrant my little, uh, me and my little girl, we just love. Very vibrant, um, pretty colors. It just makes us really happy. So, yeah, it's a small haul, but that's what I picked up today, and, um, oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. That was my small haul from Ulta. Now, here is my stuff I picked up at Target, and I did pick up a lot because, like I said, I have so much, but I did find something that I've been looking for for a really long time. Now, this says new. I don't know how new it is because um, I usually, when I shop for e.l.f., I usually do it on the eyes, lips, and face website, but this was said new in Target, and this is what the packaging looks like, and opening it, this is an e.l.f. blush, and this is a pink passion. Pink passion. And this is what the packaging looks like, just like the um, eyebrow kit I have, which I ordered from Eyes, Lips, and Face. And this is what it looks like. It is very, very pink. It is a dupe for the Smashbox one that they're coming out with. It's in the very pink kit. This is very, very pink. I mean, it's really pretty. I love uh, the way it looks. It's very, it's just everything I've been wanting. I've been looking for a very, a baby doll bright pink. And I think I found it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. They had a couple other ones there, but I just didn't um, catch my eye. Another thing about e.l.f. that I picked up was I have all these dollar brushes from e.l.f. And they have really good quality. I really do enjoy them. But I finally found, and it said it was new. And I do believe it's new because I've never seen this, um, you know, out. Is It's like a little contouring blending brush for your crease. And see how it's shaped. It looks like it's going to, I just, I'm so excited to do the, try this. Um, so yeah, I picked this up for a dollar today from the Eyes, Lips, and Face. And last of that, but not least, I have been looking everywhere for this. And there was one left, and it is the Rimmel um, Scandal Eyes Nude 005. I have been looking everywhere for this nude liner. Um, it's ultra, uh, I use all these, like the black, I have the taupe. I have all these, so I'm so excited to get the nude one. I'm super duper excited, actually. So, so excited. I see everybody using these. I couldn't find the one in the NYX either, but I'm glad I went to Target today, and listen, Target has some clearance jewelry, jewelry that is absolutely gorgeous. They got some shirts that is to die for, but I've just been spending so much money lately that I just didn't want to invest in getting a bunch of stuff because I have so much, but um I'm going to do a review and let you know how the gel essence, and if you have used this before, please let me know. And one thing I am going to do is I might do a tutorial, which I'm not really good at tutorial. I, I just don't think I should show you all how to do makeup because I'm not a professional at it. and not. I don't think I'm like the best at it. I'm good at buying stuff, but not good at putting it on sometimes. So, yeah. So I'm super duper excited, and I hope you all have a really good day. And I will be back tomorrow with Friday favorites. So, yeah. Y'all have a, a good Thursday. Bye-bye.